Welcome back, YouTubers, to Nintendo Land. I am Kodo of the Sequence Breakers, and it's been a while since I did a Nintendo Land video. So, um, Sid's not here, so I'll probably be doing most of the single-player stuff, uh, just to show you what that's like. This is a pretty entertaining game so far. Um, I thought originally it would just be something that Nintendo, um, made just to show off some of the features of the Wii U. But no, it's it, it's it's like its own entire little game, and actually, there's like these little things that um that you can buy with your coins. Like uh, there's this big thing over here, the Deku Tree, or at least the um, Nintendo Land version of it. Um, you can see this thing in um you can see it in the Zelda. Battle quest thing, that thing over there, that that place over there. But um, just just to skip walking around and doing everything, I'm actually gonna do it from this menu here. Um, what should I do? That is interesting. I think yeah, let's do Captain Falcon's Twister Race. That sounds fun. I am Kodo, of course. So I'll be playing as myself. Right now my room smells of ramen because I cooked myself a giant, a, gi bleh, a ginormous bowl of ramen today. All right. So you'll, you will be seeing what's on my TV screen and not on the pad. The um gamepad. But basically, I'm just tilting. It, I don't know if it showed you a second ago, because I'm looking mostly at the gamepad. The, um, you're supposed to tilt the gamepad uh, vertically, and you basically just tilt it to steer, and you get a, a bird's eye view of what this race looks like. And so... Oh, what's up? What's that? Oh, tunnel. Okay. Basically, you're just seeing the um, forwards view of what it's like, I guess. Anyways, my room smells like ramen right now, because I made myself a ginormous bowl of ramen, and uh, I, I put like twice as much stuff as like what you're supposed to put in it. Like, it's just a normal. I mean, I guess it's a normal size roll uh, bowl, but um. I put twice the noodles and twice the flavoring in it. I don't know what it is, but I don't... I, mean, I, I really like things that are, like, really over-flavored. Like, whenever I... When it comes to, like, drink mixes, ramen, pretty much everything, I like to put, like, twice as much as what you're supposed to put in it. Or what they put on the box. So... <laughs> Maybe I'm just weird that way. Oops. My microphone. <laughs> You're only supposed to look at the game screen itself when, uh, when there's a tunnel. And it's kind of, you gotta make sure to hit these ramps very straight, otherwise you'll fly off the side and you'll lose. So, I believe the objective is to get as far as you can with the time that you have. Oh, no, no, okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> How far did I get? I've been playing this a few other times too, so. There are some other placements. Alright, well, I think. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing with that game. There's no extra levels, really. Um, you just get further and it gets more challenging. So. Uh, you get the idea about that. Let's play. What's this? Crash Course. No, let's not play that yet. I haven't really. Let's play this. Takamaru's Ninja Castle. I don't know who Takamaru is. Is it like some kind of new series Nintendo is working on? I have no idea. But we shall see. Okay. This is, these are basically just the directions showing you. Okay, I, I'm doing it. Thank you. Okay. Let's 
scene one. Come here, you crazy ninjas. There will be no escape for you. Oh, maybe there will be. I don't know. Ugh. That was a little sloppy. Oh no, one got away. Arg. I like the music to this too. It's like really fast paced. It makes you feel like you're you're running out of time. And there's more than just these like blue ninjas. There's like purple ninjas too. And then there's the I think yellow or green ones, and they throw stuff at you. Um, some just throw regular shuri paper shurikens at you. Others throw bombs. Like see these purple ones that I just hit are holding uh, paper shurikens themselves, so they probably throw them at you. Oh, you know what? That's okay. I wasn't paying attention to my stock of shurikens. And when the purple ones start to kind of flash, that's when they are uh, about to throw something at you, so be conscious of that. Scene 2. I like how this is kind of like a play. Kind of like how they do in uh, olden Japan. Ah! Sneaking around over there. Ah! Okay, one hit me. Ah, two hit me. Oh! See, I keep forgetting to keep track of my ninja stars. Darn it, those ones kind of went. Ah! Oh, they, yeah, see, these ones have bombs. I think you have to hit those ones twice. And if you hit the bombs soon enough after they throw them, it'll actually blow them up in one hit, so... Pretty good too. Oh, by the way, oh, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Okay, so the thing about this guy is you just gotta keep flinging shurikens at him. Because eventually he's gonna come up to your screen and you gotta be ready to hit him with your sword, which you can use for close range. And then once he's stunned for a second, you can just completely nail him with a bunch of shurikens. Can you hear me? Yes. Scrolls hold yet more hidden powers. Scrolls. Sometimes you will face quick enemies who are difficult to target. In this situation, draw a single horizontal line on the touch screen. Okay. Doing so will sharpen your senses. Really? For a short time, it will be much easier to follow your enemy's movements. Does it like slow things Just down? Draw a horizontal or? line to heighten your awareness. This is sort of like a bonus round type thing too, so. Get all of them? I think I got. Yeah, I got all of them. Okie doke. Now you can also draw a circle, and that will that will uh, allow you to toss bombs. Ah. Get that bomb! Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. 
Sometimes this game just requires you to completely just like... Oh jeez. Uh, completely- Ah! Get away. It'll sometimes require you to, uh... Just frenzy with the... With the shuriken throwing. Yeah, see, it kind of slows down. Things ha- Oh, jeez, that was bomb. I didn't even see you up there, you sneaky little... Ah! When you see that little... Oh, jeez. These guys are fast. When you see that little, um, thing... Oh my goodness. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's tons of them! They're all- they're everywhere! Okay. How far are we gonna get? No black ninjas, huh? Three pink. One yellow. Jeez, a bunch of them got away. So I can also draw a circle to d use clay. Oh, what the heck? Hello? I don't like this. Is this kind of like a boss fight? I'm not liking that. I guess I'm supposed to hit whichever one's flashing. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Ah, that's good. Another hand. Darn it, one hit me. Now, over time, I think the screen does get a little, I mean, the the remote does get a little off-center, but you kind of adjust to it. Like, it, eventually you won't end up just, like, laying it flat. You'll end up, like, laying it a little bit side, like, diagonally, I guess. And, oh, darn it. I lost. Well, at least I got that far, right? Like, part of that fight I was holding my... my, um, gamepad a little diagonally, not just straight towards the TV, so... It does... The synchronization does get a little messed up after a little while, but, I mean, it's not a big enough deal. It's, like, not a huge deal. But, um, uh, just be aware of it. Alright, next. Let's try something. A little multiplayer. Um. How about. We'll do Zelda again. Now, I believe you guys have already seen the first two levels, correct? I believe. So I'm gonna play as the archer. So I'm gonna go to level 30. Or the third stage, the Grassland Temple. Alrighty. I like playing as the Archer the best, I guess. Um, that could possibly be just because my screen um, here in my room is... Um, wait, hold on. I don't need to see how to play. Okay, anyways, um, that's because the sensor bar in my room is, like, right above my TV, and I'm sitting, like, a f just a few feet away from my TV. Alright, come closer. Walk into my trap. There we go. That's kind of cool how they set stuff like that in here. 
The birds! I don't like birds. Can I hit it from here? I'm wondering if I can. Nope. Okay. I mean, at least they're a little bit easy once you... Oh, darn it, reload. Ugh. Once you uh, kind of hit them once, they'll fall down. Reload. They'll fall down and they'll become easier to shoot. Like, you shoot them again on the ground. It's not that hard. Or you can just hit them full blast. Shoot jellies! Oh, darn it, they duck. Try not to waste any of my arrows here. Alright. Go, Link, go! Oh god. Fire arrow ones. Try to hit the like make the archers your priority when you see them, because they will become an issue. Especially if you're the only target here. And if you're not the only target here, good for you, because then you'll have someone to distract them. They usually... They usually go for the... Oh god. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Get away! They usually go for the, uh, the swordsman. First. Oh, no. oh yeah, I have to reload right when I see these guys. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. There we go. You you are at a bit of a disadvantage when you're just the archer. Because um you're long distance so you get kind of it's kind of difficult when things get close to you, especially a large number of them. And this game is just like so fun to me. This is my, I think it's a tie between this and the Pikmin game. But, um... No! And as, as it is with a lot of the um, Zelda games, you have to aim for... You have to aim for where their shield is not covering. Oh, jeez. Where are they supposed to be based off again? I forget. They're those... Um... Not Octoroks, they're... Octoroks are those octopus things. They're based off of those things that jump on, like, jump at you a lot. Oh, jeez, come on. Can I dodge them when they're about to hit me? Alright. I wish I could. Because when they come around a corner like that, that's kind of annoying. They're, like, instantly close to this. Darn it! Alright, well, you guys see how it is. Kind of. Kind of! Anyways. Yeah, it's a lot but It's a lot easier to get through this when you have two people. <laughs> Which I do not have at the moment. I only have me. Alright, well, um... Kind of a cool thing that I'll show you next episode is how you can earn prizes. Like, those things on the ground... Let me see if I can find one from up here. Um, maybe you can't see it from up here because of the draw distance. Yeah, see, like, this thing right here, this little machine. Um, what else? This other stuff. Hello. Um, the deco tree thing right here. 
things that kind of make it make this place look more like than more than just like an empty courtyard um, with attractions surrounding it. It's um you you buy that by you go up there and you tap on the big monitor on the gamepad and uh, you can do this I guess weird pachinko thing where you can uh, win other prizes and you just like uh, here's this thing right here candy from Animal Crossing. Um, I'm kind of wondering how you do the because I haven't found the drawing app yet and I'm kind of wondering where you find that. I haven't found it at all. Um, but yeah, so... And, um, that's... We're running out of time on this episode. So if you like this episode, be sure to leave a like or a comment. Or if you like the Secrets Breakers in general, you can always subscribe to our channel. We also have the Facebook and Twitter um, Sequence Breakers accounts. So um, those are linked on the side of our main channel page. If you want to go to those and you want to like or just um, follow me on Twitter... Um, just to get all the updates, if you're wondering why it's taking so long for a video to come out, sometimes I'll... Okay, there's a rock in the middle of my courtyard. Why is there a rock? Oh, it's a Pikmin thing. Alright, anyways, um, if you're just wondering why it's taking so long to come out with a, a video, sometimes me or Sid will post something about what the deal is on the Twitter or Facebook account. Um, I didn't... It's been super crazy the past few days. I am just now managing to record some more stuff. So, oh, what the heck? Okay, Deku Tree. Can I jump on it? Deku Tree. Yes, I can jump on it. Okay, so once again, YouTubers, this has been Kodo. Wishing you all an awesome day, night, wherever you happen to be. Until next time, I am signing off. Hope you enjoyed this Nintendo Land uh, Let's Play, I guess. Bye.